Criteria-based assessment involves using scoring guides, called rubrics. Giving students a rubric before they start working on assignments makes them aware of the assessment criteria and encourages self-reflection and independent study. It's a great way to measure a student's learning outcome. Here's how William Bisbee, who teaches Year 10 English, creates a standard space rubric and links it to assignments in his course. He uses plans. To add a standard space rubric, he must first ensure that standards, also known as learning objectives, have been added to his course. He can choose to add the learning objectives either through the repository or by creating his own objectives. You can see here that he already has set two assessment criteria. He now adds a third. Remember to title your criteria accordingly and provide descriptors within the rubric. Adding the learning objectives to the course plan saves you time as they will be attached to any resource or activity created in the plan. Let's see how it looks when creating a new assignment. The learning objectives added to the plan earlier are automatically included in the assignment. He can also edit the rubric in the assignment window by selecting Manage Rubric. He then clicks Create Assignment. Dennis is a student in Mr. Bisbee's class. This is what he sees when he opens his assignment, a rubric with clearly identified assessment criteria to help him understand how the assignment will be graded.